Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another tier list video. In this video, we're going to be looking at all the upcoming projects in the MCU from phase five to six, and we're going to be ranking them based on how much I am looking forward to them. As you can see on the side here, we got S tier, A tier, B, C, D, F, basically the same rubric as all the other videos. But before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below which of these projects are you most looking forward to. But yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first one up, we got Agatha House of Harkness. Is that what it's called? This is kind of an interesting one. I'm really not sure at this point in time. I don't know who this is for. I'm really surprised that just after WandaVision, they decided to give her her own show. I didn't even know she was that popular in the first place. I'm sure she isn't. You know, I'm trying not to judge the show too harshly. Obviously, that's kind of difficult right now looking at this show. It just seems unnecessary. I don't know what the point is. I don't know if that'll become apparent later once we get close to the show's actual release. I just don't understand, you know, the logic behind it. Back when the Loki show was announced, I judged that the exact same way, and then I ended up actually loving it. But, you know, overall, I'm not really looking forward to it that much. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in D tier. Moving on, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Pretty much everybody is excited for this show, except me. I'm personally looking forward to Kang. I really liked him in Loki at the end of season one, but as for everything else, you know, Ant-Man, Wasp, any of the supporting characters, I just don't care. Obviously, in the first MCU tier list video that we did, I talked about how little I care about the first two Ant-Man movies, so obviously it stands to reason that I wouldn't care for this one either, and really, I'm just not excited. So for Kang, I'll give it D tier. For everything else, you know, that's why it's not any higher than that. All right, next up, we got Armor Wars. Pretty sure it's a movie now, isn't it? Right? Maybe? Yes? No? I know Armor Wars was an event in the comics. I have not read it. I don't really even know what Armor Wars is, and honestly, it's kind of hard to be excited for something when you don't even know what it's supposed to be about. All I know is that Don Cheadle is supposed to be the lead of the project. I'm kind of down to see some Iron Man stuff, you know, that could be cool. I'm looking forward to it a little bit. This one's decent to me. I'm gonna go middle of the road and go C tier. All right, next up we got Captain America, the New World Order. Straight into S tier. Love Sam Wilson. To see him getting his own movie as Captain America, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. The leader is supposed to be in it. Interestingly enough, if it's Captain America going against AIM, I'm really excited. This this is really one of those projects where I'm just gonna be hype no matter what. Really excited for this one. I really hope it's good. I cannot wait for this to come out. All right, next up we got Echo. Personally, F tier. Really, who fucking cares? Who really cares? To me, Echo was the worst part of Hawkeye. I didn't care for the actress's portrayal of the character. I, I don't even know much about the character from the comics. I just think this is an unexciting character at this point in time. I think she has potential to develop beyond that. She just didn't do it for me in Hawkeye. She didn't really bring anything to the table. I just didn't care. You know, hopefully they prove me wrong with this and it ends up being really good. But for the time being, it's just, it's whatever. Who cares? All right, next up we got the Marvels. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in B tier. I think when it comes to this project, I'm mainly excited for Kamala to appear again, as well as Monica Rambo. I really liked Kamala in her own show and I liked Monica in WandaVision. So I'm really excited to see not only those two interact, but I'm excited to see them as characters again in some something else. The only reason it's not higher is because of Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. I've already gone into the fact that I'm not a huge fan of her portrayal of the character. I'm just not excited to see her. I don't know, this is one for me that could go either way, but I'm choosing to be optimistic about it. Alright, next up we got Secret Invasion. I'm really disappointed that this is just gonna be like a little mini-series. If they were ever gonna do the Secret Invasion plotline, they should have made that a whole story arc over the course of a couple phases. On the scale of the Infinity Infinity Saga, I think that would have been the coolest fucking thing ever. The fact that it looks like they're gonna knock this out in one project, really underwhelming. I think it would have been the coolest thing ever to, you know, watch all these shows and movies coming out and become kind of paranoid about which characters might be scrolls. Unfortunately, it looks like they're not gonna do that, so I'm already kind of not excited. It's more of a shield spy thriller type of thing. I kind of like that aspect of it a lot. You know, it's obviously a trust-based story. So I'm kind of on the fence here, hoping this is good, but like Armor Wars, it could go either way for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put a C tier. All right, next up, we got Ironheart. First of all, I love Riri Williams in the comics. Uh, I know a lot of people weren't a fan of her character when Brian Michael Bendis first introduced her. Her initial introductory series was widely hated by a lot of people. I actually loved it. I thought it felt fresh. I loved that she was kind of being mentored by Tony Stark, but also not really. So when this show was announced, I was pretty excited. 
excited. At the time of recording this, I have not seen Wakanda Forever, and I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be in that movie, so I don't really know what she's like right now, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Right now, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm kind of expecting the worst. I hope it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a D tier. All right, next up, we got Blade. Uh... F tier. Blade has never done it for me, personally. I'm not really sure why. The whole vampire slayer thing is just not for me. I don't care about vampires. I don't care about any of that stuff. Alright, next up we got the Fantastic Four movie. I'm so, so, so looking forward to having another Fantastic Four movie, but I'm so worried. I'm so worried. There is so much writing on this, and I really want it to be good, but knowing that it's the MCU, you know, a lot of projects that are highly anticipated they just so easily fumble, especially, you know, lately. I'm hoping it's gonna be good, but we don't really know anything about the project yet. For now, I'm gonna stay optimistic. I'm gonna put it in B tier. All right, next up, we got Loki Season 2. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in A tier. When I did my first MCU tier list, I put Loki Season 1 at A tier because I did really enjoy it. I'm expecting to enjoy this Season 2. I'm just kind of excited to see wherever they take it. All right, next up, we got Avengers Secret Wars. I'm really not sure how to feel about this one. We obviously know that this is gonna be nowhere near similar to Jonathan Hickman's, and as for the original Secret Wars from like the 1980s, never read it, but I think they could very easily fumble it by trying to do too much. For right now, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in C tier. Next up, we got Avengers The Kang Dynasty. I have never read The Kang Dynasty. I don't know how hard they're going to adapt to that story. I just, this is another one where I just, I don't know. I'm gonna put it right next to Secret Wars at C tier. Uh, again, could go either way. Way, we're just gonna have to see. It's so far out at this point that I'm just not sure. Okay, so admittedly, I have tried to record this bit about like four times and it just hasn't been working out, so I'm gonna just speed through these next few. Next up, Daredevil Born Again. I think I went into pretty good detail about how much I love Charlie Cox as Daredevil, so you know, I won't waste any time overly praising the Netflix show. Loved him in that, loved him in No Way Home, loved him in She Hulk, so I'm really excited for him to have his own show again. I am kind of scared that they're gonna mess it up. You know, this show is gonna have like 18 episodes and we all know how Disney is with quantity over quality so we're just gonna have to see for now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in A tier very very excited but I am still a little bit worried all right next up we have Guardians of the Galaxy volume 3 I'm definitely very excited for this one I think this is probably the most excited I've been for any of the Guardians projects it looks like it's gonna be really really cool really really funny and really sad probably more so than any of the last few um, I definitely don't think I'm emotionally prepared for this movie I definitely dig the more comic accurate looks that they have going on. I think it makes them look like more of a team that way. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one in A tier. Alright, then we got Spider-Man 4. I actually created the mock-up for this poster myself because that's just how far out it is. We don't even have a poster for it. I don't even think this movie has been like announced. Like Sony and Marvel, I don't think either of them have said whether or not this movie's actually happening, really. Like obviously we all know that it is gonna happen, but they haven't said anything, which is weird. I know a lot of people's opinions on that movie have changed, but mine have not. I still really like how it ended. I love how they created the potential for classic Peter Parker to return, and I really hope they go through with that in this movie. There is just a little nugget of worry that they'll fumble the bag and go in a completely different direction that nobody really wants, but you know, you never know. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in A tier. I am really looking forward to it, but you know, I'm just a little bit worried. All right, and finally, we have the Thunderbolts. I, I'm just gonna be honest. F tier. The Thunderbolts is a team that I never really bothered getting into in the comics, but I do know that it is essentially Marvel's Suicide Squad, so, you know, you could do something cool with that. There's potential there, but a team of supervillains, and these are the characters you pick. Out of all of these projects that are in F tier, I think this one, first of all, is the one that I'm least excited for, but I also think it has the least potential to impress me, and that's saying something, because it's a team movie. I'm just not interested. I just don't care. I don't think anybody does at this point. I think we're all just kind of meh on this right now. So yeah, F tier it is. So there you have it guys. That is my list. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below which of these rankings you agree or disagree with. But yeah, other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. So until next time, I will catch you later. Thanks for watching.